Hi everyone, today in art class we're going to learn about radial design. In the Middle Ages, huge churches were built with high ceilings and many windows. These windows were made of what's called stained glass or colored pieces of glass. The pieces of stained glass were held together with strips of lead, which is a kind of metal. When light shines through the window, the stained glass sparkles in bright colors. So for our artwork today, we're going to do it with paper. Um, you could use crayon. These were made with marker. Um, and we're going to use that pencil transfer or crayon transfer technique today. So to get started, you're going to fold your paper so that you can make a square. So I'm just cutting off the edge here. And then you already have one fold done. The next fold is corner to corner. The next fold is a horizontal fold or hamburger style. So you're gonna do that twice. And then when you open it up, you should have eight triangles. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna make your own rose window design. So I want you to think about line and pattern and how you wanna put that together. You're just doing one pie slice. So, for example, I'm gonna pick this pie slice here and I'm gonna add a wavy line. You wanna press pretty hard, a zigzag line, a half circle, a full circle. So once I have it in this one triangle, now I'm gonna do the pencil transfer method or crayon method where I fold the paper in half and I'm gonna take a spoon, a ruler, um, something hard that I can press and rub on top of my design. So you wanna make sure that it's transferring. To check the transfer, you're gonna open it up and there's my design. Then I'm gonna take my crayon and trace over that design. Remember from class we used pencils, um, we use soft lettered pencils, so if you have a soft lettered pencil, you can use that. If you don't, you could still use a number two pencil. Um, you just have to press a little bit harder. So now I'm transferring it over to my next two triangles, pressing pretty hard. You can notice that didn't transfer that well, so I need to do that again. I need to fold. Sometimes it's good to stand up because you can get more pressure on your design. So then when I, much better. When I open it up, now I can connect those lines together um, and trace over them. And then the last fold, you gotta think about it. I've done these, I've done these. We folded corner to corner. So that's our last fold. So I'm gonna rub here and I'm gonna rub here. You can see the design through the paper and that's where you know where you need to rub. So then when I open it up, my design ended up turning out to look like a flower pattern. There's the element of surprise to this lesson too, which I like. Um, and then I kinda have this star-like pattern on the outside. All right, last but not least, I need to make it into a circle. So now I'm going to cut around the edges of my design to create my circle. And then I will add color. Think about warm colors. Um, I'm sorry, cool colors or warm colors, that's going to give a good palette. Or you could do rainbow, um, but this was done with cool and warm. All right, happy drawing.